Hey, last year when Titleist brought out the new TS drivers, we did this video and explained the new product. And now we're going to do this because there's an incredible new development with Titleist with the the T-series of irons and the new hybrids and their new utility iron. But one of the things I do want to mention with this, this year in the PJ Tour, 10 times Titleist led every category. That's driver, fairways, hybrids, irons, wedges, putters, and golf balls. It's the only company ever to do it, even once, and they've already done it 10 times. The products are taking the tour by storm and have been helping numerous people at all levels. But what we want to bring to you today is we got Jimmy Michaels with us, who's our Titleist brand uh, ambassador. Uh, we had a staff fitting here today. There have been staff fittings, uh, club professional staff fittings of the new irons all week. From what I've witnessed, Jim, everybody loves the feel and they're all picking up yardage. Absolutely. You know, one of the things, Dennis, that we wanted to do was, you know, we've, we've had the AP series for a long time. We wanted to basically reinvent our entire iron line, and, and we did that with this new T-Series. And we've got three models, the T-100, T-200, T-300. T-100 is the, you know, will become the gold standard of the of the, of the worldwide tours. It, what we tried to do here is change the uh, cosmetics of the golf club and the look of the golf club to look much more like a muscle back blade, but it has so much tungsten uh, technology in the bottom of this golf club that we uh, actually have more tungsten than our previous AP1 model, which was but our But Jimmy, I can't red. see any tungsten on this. It, it is inside the cavity here, okay. and there's about 95 grams in there. Okay, so so that's all put inside? Correct. And this is the only forged iron? 100% forged iron. It's 100, this club, if you're not a if you don't have a, a bunch of an issue for distance, especially if you're a longer hitter and a good player, the feel of this club is unbelievable. Yeah, it's unmatched. And yet today we found some guys picking up distance over their previous generation, even with this club. And over some of our models that had stronger lofts. And, uh, and yet that wasn't the purpose no, of this club was at not, all. No, was not. And one of the guys on tour that really kind of got us really excited was Charlie Hoffman. He's played our muscle back since he's been on the tour. Uh, the new models each time, and he actually is playing the T100. The shape and the look of the golf club is identical to his muscle back, and yet he's getting that forgiveness. He's getting a little more trajectory, better landing descent, which we'll talk about in the next two models. So then, then you go to the. Uh, yes. so, but first of all, yeah. the rebranding of the iron is pretty similar to what you did with the drivers. Yeah. You got rid of that old the 917, yeah. the nine, and it's just people. You know, we've been the same names for a long time. Yeah. And one of the things we, we didn't want people to do is just figure these were the next AP1, AP2 models. Yeah. These are completely different. Everyone that sees them has noticed that. You know, we're, we're in these two models, we have what we call our max impact technology. All right, so you talk about maximizing speed with an iron. A lot of player, a lot of companies will tend to just make the club longer and de loft them. The problem with that is the ball coming into the green will not hold, all right, and it mm -hmm. comes in at too low of a descent. So the first one, the T200, is a uh, if you notice a little button in the back there, picture a, a trampoline, and if you wanted to make someone bounce higher on a trampoline, you would tighten up that membrane that they're jumping on. But if you really wanted to go beyond that, picture putting a uh, medicine or a exercise ball underneath that. So between the combination of that, that's where the player is going to, uh, or the person is going to get a higher jump. This button behind there is a polymer ball behind there. The face is actually uh, uh, flexing against that and it's allowing the whole face to flex. The feel difference on this club is phenomenal. We actually are using a forged face. Mm -hmm. So the body of it is a cast, but it's a forged face. But if the speed increases, we're looking at you know anywhere from five to 10 yards over previous models. Well, what I find interesting in this concept for the distance mm -hmm. with this ball and pushing off from the back, it's very similar to what the tour players are doing and the good amateurs for distance. Yeah. They're swinging and they're pushing into the ground yeah and then pushing up and out of the ground. And so the ball, the earth, yes. is what's giving them their distance. Absolutely. It is basically what the irons are now it's doing. It's exactly, and, and it, by putting it, it, you know, because a lot of people say, well, why wouldn't you want that across the face? Well, again, when you have it all the way across the face, it's actually cushioning it, and you don't mm -hmm. want that. You want it to be springing. Now, the other is that I noticed when I was at the, the fitting on Monday and then here at Pine mm -hmm. Meadow today, mm -hmm. A lot of, of the people fitting were commenting about the size of the head. Yes, yes. One of the real things that we focus, and we have for years, is on the, on the, the, 
perception of what that club looks like. Does it look too big? Does it look too clunky? And one of the things we've done is that we've made the, the, the blade shorter, still a progressive blade length, but these they're much smaller looking. There's a little less offset in the T200, uh, and the sole of the golf club is a smidge smaller or shallower. And then where did we go? Well, one thing I wanted to point out before you put that away, you mentioned about not seeing the tungsten yep. in the in the in the T100. Yep. Uh, You'll notice that little button. So you're going to see that in the T100, and you're also going to see something even more so in the T300. But the, the 200, one of the things that uh, in the 300. It's only there through the seven iron. So the eight, nine, and the wedge don't have that behind the hitting area. Because again, those are your scoring clubs. You're not necessarily looking just to hit the ball further with those, okay? Now this one, it's the T300, but it's really designed, It's call, I call it the D-blade. Titleist made this specifically for Dennis. <laughs> this is the Dennis Johnson blade. Uh, this is incredible. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I got fit for this and I'm a club longer with this than I was with the AP1. Uh, so I've, I have found it incredible. There again is the... You've got that, that ball, that membrane, that polymer ball, ball behind there, and then you've got that, that framing coming off. And again, that's to give it strength, to give it you know stability. Because if you don't have that bar back there, the, the face is going to be you know kind of. And this is a more compact head too than the, uh, than the old, yes. the previous yeah. generation. The other thing I noticed when I was hitting it in that, the top line looked thinner. Yeah. A lot of golfers, you know, they all talk about they want the most easy club to hit, the most forgiving, but they also don't like a big, clunky, mm -hmm. shovely looking golf club. So one of the things we spent a lot of extra time on with these clubs is, is making that happen. And, and they did an incredible job. One of the things that people, you know, when they talk about hitting the ball further, and we talk about the lower flight, these clubs are launching a smidge higher so because of that, we were actually able to strengthen the loft one degree on, on, as we got to the yep. longer clubs. So it's going to give you a little more distance, but because of all the weight and the flex in that face, the launch is up and the descent is going to be uh, uh, steeper. If you get in track man numbers, you want to be descending at 45 degrees or more. If you're descending in the 30s, the ball's never going to stop on the green. So all three of these models have changed that dramatically for us. Well, I for one, you know, I, I hit them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the feel of them yep. all, yep. but this is by far for my eye, and yep. it, it was incredible. I think too, Dennis, to your point, the feel part of this club, everyone always assumes it's a cast club, it's not gonna feel as good. I, I would argue that that club feels as solid and, and soft as, as the other two models. Compared to the old Wilson 1200s from the you 1970s. Yes, yes. Uh, now this was the one, these things, I was, I gave, uh, a challenge to Titleist on Monday and I said there's no way I can hit a one iron in the air anymore and they sent me out and I hit this thing I could hit a one iron with this yeah. thing yeah uh, tell us three, well three miles or two excuse me two miles we've got the 500 and the 510 uh, these are utility irons these are long iron replacements these are for the players that don't like hybrids you know there's a lot there's still golfers that they don't like the way a hybrid looks the way it plays but the problem is when you put a long iron in their hands, again, we talked about the descent factor. So the 500, which is a little bit smaller uh, blade that is gonna, you know, gonna you know, dig through the turf a little bit more for the guy that needs to go down and get mm -hmm. it. But the launch, the amount of tungsten in the bottom of that is gonna be so much higher. And we're seeing guys just hit these things you know, out of sight. Um, that's gonna come in a two, three, and a four iron. And we're putting a, a hazardous smoke iron shaft in there all right so the, any iron shaft can go in these but the reason we did that is a set of golf clubs weight of shaft should progress so you want your lightest shaft in your driver your heaviest shafts in your short irons okay so if we put a steel shaft in here we're going to be too heavy so we did the, the smoke and what we're finding is everyone that's been hitting these has gone with that shaft not a, a different shaft uh, i know i did yeah uh i was absolutely amazed i was able to do the one iron I was hitting the one iron farther than my hybrids. Yes. Yes. Uh, my and I ended up doing the three iron to go with my set uh, because I can choke down and make it a four iron. Yeah. And then I went to a hybrid, so I had a club for out of the rough. Sure. Sure. These uh, are not going to be as functional out of the rough. So. But this is the club. Yeah. This was this was my baby. So the five ten U, as you can say, is, you see, it's very wide sole, bigger blade. Uh, that's a one iron through four iron, and everyone's like, why would you want a one iron? Well, again, 
this golf club for that player that wants a club off the tee, not a hybrid player. And just want, you know, most players when they're hitting a ball off of a tee, even though they want it straight, they want max distance. Mm -hmm. This is going to give it to them. Launch is incredibly high with, you know, moderate spin. So it's been really fun. We originally weren't going to bring these two models out till the spring, but when we did our iron testing on, with the tour players and we had these, they were all over them. They, a lot of them went into play at the U.S. Open. You're going to see a lot of these at the British Open, and that's why we brought them out. Oh, that right is away. just, yeah. uh, you know, you fun. didn't bring one up, but I happen to oh, have one. yeah, let's grab that. My, uh, so we have two new uh, hybrids, uh, you know, that we, you know, again, we, 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 we kind of got more in line with our woods with our hybrids, so we've got the TS hybrids. We've got the TS2 and the TS3. TS2 is going to be the wide body. It's going to be for the sweeper. It's for players that tend to hit, hit it off the tee a lot, you know. The TS3 is going to be more for the digger, the guy that goes down after. Um, you know, it's a little more compact, and, and, and it's amazing because there's when you watch people hit hybrids, there's one or the other. You know, there's a digger or there's a slider, just like with wedges. Um, one thing that we did with these is we wanted to keep them in line with our driver, so we've thinned the face 16%. So you're going to get faster ball speeds. Now, hybrids are util are, are, are scoring clubs in our mind. It's a club you want to go a certain distance. So people say, well, why would you want to make them go longer? Because the other clubs are going longer. You know, yeah. guy that has a 20-year-old hybrid right now says, well, I love this because it goes 180. Well, you know what? His longest iron might be going 190 yeah. now. So again, we sped them up. You know, loss will be there. Um, the, we, we use the same weighting system, so the TS2 will have the flat weight on the bottom, the TS3 will have the sure fit. The and it's, so it's the adjustable, adjustable the, hosel. The, yes. the adjustable hosels. Yeah. Uh, we can make it a little upright, a little flatter, we Absolutely. can make it a little stronger, make it a little weaker. Yeah. Uh, wonderful clubs. Yeah. Uh, the, the three is a, the person two that the eye is more for an iron look, exactly. and exactly. Uh, the other one is more for a yeah. person that likes like more of a look yeah. of a fairway wood. Yeah. Well, we're going to be having Titleist Thursday starting here on August 8th, and we wanted to give you an idea, a first-hand look as to what's coming. And if you have any questions, please contact Tim Porter or Dennis Johnson at Pine Meadow Golf Club, 847-566-4653, and we'll help you out. Thanks for listening.